Salut! My name is Thomas, your wine tuber, and today we're gonna learn top 10 French wine terms that you need to know. So let's get started! Cod, this is our term number one. Uh, that basically in French means slop or heel. When you see cod on the French label, that means this wine is produced in a slopey or hilly area, like for example Côte Roti or Côte du Bon Village. Cremant, this is term number two. Cremant is a sparkling wine made outside of the Champagne region. So the main difference between Cremant and Champagne is that Cremant is aged for nine months and Champagne for 50 months. So generally speaking, Cremant's wines are a fantastic value for money. If you're looking for something extraordinary, in Burgundy they create two new appellations called Emine, that means the wine has to be aged for at least 24 months, or Grand Emine, and this wine needs to be aged for 36 months, exactly the same amount of time like vintage champagne. Term number three, folks, which is Cru. Cru it literally means grove in French, and it's regarding to great site or the great producer. Like for example, in Burgundy we have Chablis Grand Cru or Chablis Premier Cru, which is regarding to the great type of soil, basically great terroir. In Bordeaux, for example, we have Grand Cru Classé, and this is regarding to the great producer, and this classification was established in 1855. The next term that you should know, folks, it's called surli, and it's regarding to aging wine on the lease, which is basically dead yeast cells. Sounds a bit weird, right? However, it's very, very important because surli wines are lower in acidity, with creamier and richer on the palate. And this particular term is widely used in the Loire Valley, and the best appellation for that is Muscadet, Sèvres, and Maine. Blanc de Blanc, which is basically means white from the whites. And this term is widely used in the Champagne region. That means the Champagne is produced only from the white grapes, mostly Chardonnay. However, there's one particular wine called Blanc de Carte Blancs produced by the Drapier house, and they're using four different white grapes, which is super, super rare. Claw, this is our next term, it could be simply translated as single vineyard or single plot, normally what, but not always. Amazing examples you can find in Burgundy, like Claw de Vougeot or Claw de la Bray. For me, Claw is something like a combination of exceptional soil, exceptional terroir with fantastic microclimate. And folks, if you like to learn the word Chateau, make sure you watch this video until the end. The next term, folks, is the word cuvée. Cuvée is a blend of different grapes, blend of different vintages, like Crook Champagne, which is exceptional, or blend of different plots, like Cuvée Saint Vincent, produced by Vincent Gerard. So cuvée is a blend of grapes before going to the tank, before going to the first fermentation, because cuvée in French means tank. So I'm sure most of you heard the word chateau, which is literally means castle in French, or domain. So domain is widely used in Burgundy and chateau is widely used in Bordeaux. And both terms means wine estate. Term number nine, folks, vieille vigne, which is basically means old vines. There is no legal definition in France for vieille vigne. However, when you're having a bottle of old vines, we're expecting wine a bit more complex more elegant, and normally a bit more expensive. Last term, AOC, Appellation d'Origine Contrôle, which is simply means appellation. So appellation names comes from the villages, like for example Chablis, or from the name of the town, like Bordeaux. Appellation to me, it's like an ID of wine. So appellation guarantee you the country of origin, like for example Champagne, it's always French. Region of origin, like Champagne can be produced only in Champagne region. A grape variety, there's three main grape varieties in Champagne, like Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier and Chardonnay. Also style of wine, because Champagne is always sparkling. But keep one thing in mind, 
Appellation not always guarantee a quality of the wine. If you're looking for good quality champagne, always make sure that you also know the producer. So good producer plus good appellation equal very good wine. Thank you for watching folks. My next video will be about a term called Corpinad, which is premium Spanish wine produced in Penedes. If you'd like to learn more about Spanish wines or maybe Italian, click on one of those links. Uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.